Here's a comprehensive guide on how to cut audio in Adobe Audition, including methods in both the waveform and multi-track views. First, let's have a look at how to cut audio in the waveform view right here. With your mouse, left click and drag over the portion of the audio that you would actually like to cut. It will then be highlighted in white. To delete that portion now, you can either right click and then click on delete right here, or you can also simply press delete on your keyboard to delete it. It's important to understand that these are destructive edits. So this means that the cuts you make will directly alter the audio file. With that said, if you would like to undo a cut in Adobe Audition, then press Command and C on a Mac or Control and C on a Windows PC. This will undo your cut. Now let's have a look at how to cut audio in the multi-track view. The multi-track view allows for non-destructive editing, which means the cuts don't affect the original file and can be undone or modified at any time. Now, in the multi-track view, you can't just simply left click and drag over the audio portion that you would like to cut. This only works in waveform view. So what you have to do to perform cuts in the multi-track view is to equip the razor tool first. To do so, go to the top toolbar right here and select the razor tool. With the razor tool equipped, then click on the audio clip at the points where you want to make cuts. So if you want to make a cut right here, we would left click once here. And let's say I would like to perform another cut right here. I will left click here again. We have now performed two cuts. This has now actually split our clip into segments without deleting any part of the audio yet. So with that said, if you would now like to delete this part right here, then you would first need to come here to the top toolbar and equip the move tool right here. By the way, the shortcut to equip the move tool is simply the letter M. So you can press M on your keyboard to equip the move tool. Once equipped, select the segment that you would like to delete and then simply press delete on your keyboard to delete it. As you will notice, this will actually leave a gap here in our audio file. And in most cases, you would obviously want to close that gap. To close the gap now, you can simply move these segments right here. So you can just left click, hold and drag this segment like this and close the gap. You could obviously also do it the other way around. Just left click and hold on this segment right here and move it to the right. Also, you could move this segment to the very end, for example. So maybe you want to place this segment right here actually after this one here. Then just do the same and drag it all the way to the right. Now, whenever you want to close the gap right away, there is actually an easier way to get the job done. First, select the segment that you would like to delete. Then right click on it, click on ripple delete and choose select the clips. This will delete your segment and will automatically close the gap. This option shifts all subsequent clips to fill the space, keeping the timeline seamless. Now last but not least, let me also give you a little bonus tip. There are cases in which you would want to keep a section in the timeline, but remove the sound. So basically, you would like to silence a part of your audio without altering the audio length at all and simply insert silence to a part where before there was a certain sound. So for example, let's say we would like to silence this part right here. Then I would simply left click and drag over that part to highlight it. Then we right click right here and click on silence. And just like that, we silence this part without actually removing it. And that's it guys. This is how you cut audio in Adobe Edition. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Adobe Edition tutorials.